Hi there. Today I want to tell you how I've learned the secret to streaming US-based television on my home PC and iPhone. First, let me explain my frustrations that I used to have. I live in Japan and getting my favorite TV shows has always been difficult because of my geographical location. When I would access American-based websites, I would always get blocked. After much research, I am now able to view any Canadian or US TV shows without a hitch. Here's an example of CBS.com with one of my favorite TV shows, The Big Bang Theory. Without my method, the following message appears. The video you have requested is not available for your geographic region. Great, so they give me a bunch of clips. Next. Hulu.com, one of the best places to watch just about any TV show. Again, the same situation happens. We're sorry, currently our video library can only be streamed within the United States. Next. My son absolutely loves PBS Kids and often he wants to watch the online videos. But once again, we get a great message that says this video is only available in the United States. If you're wondering why you get these messages, it's because advertisers only want US viewers to be seeing these ads because they're more likely to be purchasing products based in the US. So they don't want international viewers. So let's get started on how you'll be able to watch this free content in just 15 minutes or less. Checklist uh, can be displayed on either your PC or personal device. You'll need a Wi-Fi connection to your home PC if using a smartphone. Extremely fast and easy once you understand how it works. Don't worry, this is not for tech heads. Things needed are a smartphone, computer, VPN or IP changing software and the iPhone app which is free. Program channel list, Hulu, Netflix, CBS, Comedy Central, TV.com, TBS, Spike TV, ESPN.com, ESPN3, Major League Baseball, NHL, The Ultimate Fighter, CNN, Fox News, PBS, PBS Kids, Amazon, VOD, Vivo, and Pandora. These uh, Some of the sites like Netflix, MLB, and NHL do require a membership uh, website, or sorry, a membership uh, that you have to purchase. And when the software is installed, you just have to input your username and password, and then you'll be able to view that content. But uh, Hulu, for example, is one of my uh, favorites. Um, it's free, and you can view over 200 channels. So uh, that's pretty cool. All right, step one, getting the VPN. Install your VPN so you can change your country's IP to a US type. This will allow you to view your content as if you were in the United States. Please go to www myinstantvpn.com and we're going to show you exactly how to install this on your computer and get set up. Again, go to www.myinstantvpn.com now and you'll be presented with a screen that looks exactly like the image below. All right. Okay, once you've done all that, you'll come to a website that looks just like this. Please have a look around so you can familiarize with the website's navigation and just how they work. I've done my research and by far these guys are the best in the market. They have 24 hour support and you can access their live chat on the bottom right anytime you feel you need to ask something. Trust me, I've done it all. Just click on here, choose an operator. You probably want to use something like a VPN technical support and then just put your name and your email and hit start and you'll be instantly taken to one of their support agents. Okay. Okay, the first thing you should do is select the speed test and let's find out what server is best for our location. Just click right here. All right, now I'm based in Japan and as far as I've heard, there is a pipeline that goes from San Francisco to Tokyo. So naturally, San Fran is my best option. If you're UK based, then probably New York would be a better option. And don't forget, remember the city that was green in the US. That part will come to play later on. Let's find out which one turns green. Okay, I just hit start, bottom right hand side here. And there you have it, San Francisco is my best option. Just hover over San Francisco, and there you have it, you can see all the different San Francisco servers which you can basically get onto. Um, some have more, some have less. I don't know exactly which ones would be better or faster, but um, you know, as you can see, there's a lot of accounts available. All right, now let's get your VPN. Let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is click on the top hand part of the navigation. Click on order. 
Now let's choose the light open package based on how many months you would want the service for. Um, that's completely up to you, of course. I'm going to choose the light open for three months. I'm going to choose PayPal. I'm a big PayPal user. Okay, and fill in all the required information and complete your order. It should only take a few minutes to complete. And also, get in contact with the live chat and tell them you finished ordering and they, and they, sorry, and you would like to get started as soon as possible. I did that and then within a few minutes after I made my purchase and they verified things, I got all my account details and it was within minutes I was able to, you know, get started. <clears throat> and when you, when you want to choose what city or server you want, make sure you use a city that was highlighted green as it'll have the highest speed and will stream the fastest. Now I'll assume that you have gotten your account and can successfully log in. Okay, now I'm going to log in so you can see what it looks like once you're inside and how you'll be setting this up on your computer. This is my own personal account. I can't show you everything due to um, certain personal details but what you want to do is just click on the view greeting button you just click on there and now you'll be on the setup page so you can install everything just choose what OS is best suited to your computer for example I'm on Windows 7 okay now if you're on Windows Vista open you click on there Windows XP open and if you're a Mac user you would click on there I'm going to select the Windows 7 now the first thing you'll see is your OpenVPN configuration files. Go and save that now to your desktop for later use. And that's just, sorry, that's just right here. So you just click on there. I'm on Google Chrome, so it opens up a little mini pop-up here on the bottom left. If you're on Firefox, you should see a pop-up that comes up, okay? <clears throat> okay, so just uh, basically, Next thing you want to do is you want to get your OpenVPN installed. And uh, what you do is you just double click on there. And then the next page looks something. Sorry about this. Let this scroll up. Basically, when you click on there, you're going to get a complete screenshot how to uh, page. And what you do is when you click on that page, sorry, when you click on that software to start installing, this is what it'll look like. So the first thing you do is you hit OK, you install the software, and then you just hit I agree, you have to agree to the terms, you hit next. Basically you want to put it in your C program files OpenVPN, you install it, you just say yes, keep going, installed, finished. Something we've always done a million times, very simple, very easy. On your desktop, you're going to get a little icon. It looks just like this. Two computers with a little green world blue thing. It says OpenVPN GUI. What you want to do is you want to right click it and hit the drop down menu Run as Administrator. All right, this will give you full control. Now, remember those files I was telling you about before, about um, the ones that you'd saved? Um, what you do is on your computer, you hit local, sorry, you hit computer, local disk, or C drive, program files, open VPN, config. And when you get to that page, it's going to look something like this. Huh. Not quite. So I'm on a Japanese computer, so it always looks a little bit different from you guys. Okay, I just go here to my open VPN. Where's my open VPN? Where are you? OOO, open VPN, and then you hit config. Okay, now you remember I told you I was in Chrome. What you do is you just double click on Chrome here. Okay, now all those files that are just right here, you're going to highlight all those files. This is my uh, C program files config. Make this a little bit smaller so you can see. Then what you do is you just basically take all those files. And then you just drag and drop those into that folder right there. Now, the reason why you're doing this is um, these are your unique IDs and all your, you know, server, all that information. And when you pass this through into here, you're going to tell the software that this is who you are and this is what server and, you know, all the passwords and everything. And so that's how you're going to be basically logging on to the USIP. Okay. Now, again, I cannot stress this enough. If you're finding all this way too much, 
um, please just contact the live support and they'll be able to install the software for you. They have a software called Team Viewer, and once you allow them to access your computer, they'll do it all for you. Um, my buddy had this done on his computer, and within five minutes, they were able to do the whole entire thing. Okay, so you know they want to basically help you and get this installed as soon as possible. So again, if this is too much for you, just go to that live support. They're going to help you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to click all this off. Now, what you want to do, um, the next thing you want to do is on your desktop, you're going to see, well, let me just show you exactly what it looks like. So much better. On my desktop, this is what it looks like. Okay. And here on the right hand side, what you want to do is right click it and hit the button connect. Pretty simple, right? Okay. All the information is going through. All right, it's loading. There you go. That's my Kaspersky um, internet security. It just told, told me that my IP has been changing. And there it is. Uh, uh, Open274 is now connected. Assigned IP. There you go. It's a US IP. Okay, now let's just go find out what my IP is. And uh, here we go. What is my IP? Okay, put that in. That one didn't work too good. Let's try the next one. Yep, there we go. Perfect. There you go. I'm in San Francisco. And yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I want. All right. Now let's go try CBS.com. Let's go see if we can watch a TV show. Remember, we're on a USIP right now. So this is exactly how you would see the website as if you were in America. And uh, let's just try. The price is right. Great TV show. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully this all loads pretty quickly without any major commercials. All right, and oh, here we go. Advertisements, yay. And I think this is gonna work absolutely no problem. Yep, there you have it. The price is right. Loading perfectly, it's fast. We're not getting stop and go, stop and go. This is streaming perfect. Yeah, looks great, perfect. Okay, let's move on to our next part of the uh, video where we're gonna get this on your iPhone now, okay? So let's get started with the next part.